So you're moving to the Baltimore metro area and you're looking to save a good bit of money. In this video today, I'm gonna to give you my top seven hacks to save you a ton of cash when moving right here to Baltimore. And we're getting started right now. What is up everyone? It's Adam Taylor with the Relentless Home Group right here in the Baltimore metro area. Hey, this is your first time to our channel. We do a ton of videos talking all about Baltimore, Maryland. We talk about living here, sleeping here, working here, commuting, getting out in the community, have a ton of fun, going out to eat, all that stuff. We cover it right here in this channel. So if that's the information that you're looking for, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Give the notification bell a click. That way you're alerted every time we put out a new video just like this one. Now right now, I've got to be honest with you, we are receiving so many phone calls, text messages, and emails from people looking to move or relocate right here to Baltimore from all over the world. And we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking of making a move, please reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or even fan us down with a smoke signal. However you need to get a hold of us, we've got your back. We're moving right here to the Baltimore metro area. Today, I'm gonna to give you our top seven money-saving hacks to save you a ton of cash a bunch of time, a bunch of headaches, and so much more. Now make sure you stick around to the end and number seven because I'm telling you, it is the most important one by far. All right, the first money saving hack we've got for you today is look, furniture, should you bring it with you or should you sell it? Well, I'm a guy who likes to basically get rid of everything and start fresh. That's just me personally, so if that's you, Make sure you check out like sites like Craigslist or even Facebook Marketplace. If you haven't been out there, it's real easy to jump on, take a picture of your item, put it online, sell it to somebody locally before you make your move. You also wanna check with your moving company to see what it's gonna to cost to move the furniture that you have. You know what, it might not be worth it to move it, just financially, just looking at the numbers. So again, check into those sites here and if you do want to bring furniture, here's a cool thing that we can do for you. We actually have technology that can create a 3D rendering of the property you're looking to purchase. And we'll actually be able to see if your furniture is going to fit. So let us know if that's something you'd like to check out. But it is a service that we offer to our clients who are working with us. So our second item is moving supplies. Now, you may not think that tape and boxes and paper to wrap your dishes cost a ton of money, but my friends, go to Home Depot, start pricing this stuff out. I'm telling you, it's pretty pricey. So here are some resources as to where you can go besides the big box home improvement stores. For boxes, check out your local Facebook groups, Craigslist, and even the Nextdoor website. There's a lot of people that are moving that are just looking to donate and get boxes out of their home, right in your neighborhood that you can get those uh, from for a very discounted rate or even for free. You're helping a neighbor out and they're helping you out. Second thing, if you are in need of paper, a ton of paper to wrap a lot of dishes up, don't go to Depot or Lowe's to buy this stuff. Actually, check out construction supply shops for bulk lots of butcher paper. This stuff is great and it comes in gigantic rolls about this big that you can purchase at a really discounted rate. So check those places out when looking to save a few dollars on your moving supplies. Number three, appliances. You've got to really consider appliances when making your move. Whether you bring the ones that you have already to your new home or you just purchase new ones. Now, most of the time, most of the appliances are in the homes that we sell. But in those rare instances when a refrigerator might be needed or a washer and dryer, those are the three items that we see commonly that could be excluded from a contract of sale. With that said though, some other things that you need to consider are this. If you are bringing your appliances, you've got to check your clothes dryer especially to make sure it's going to work in your new home. Meaning that here in Maryland, we have dryers that are fed via electricity or natural gas. So we really wanna make sure we have the correct clothes dryer for you when moving here. Now, if you decide to sell all of that, obviously you're gonna save a little bit more money 
with your moving expenses because let's face it appliances are very heavy and they take up a ton of room in a moving truck in addition to that if you do decide to purchase something new once you get here the delivery charge is going to be most likely free or included in the purchase price of your new appliances. So really think that through before bringing your appliances to your new home. Here. For number four, let's talk about movers. Should you hire a mover or should you do it yourself? Well, that's a personal preference and something you've got to think about for yourself. In reality, look, if you're comfortable driving a U-Haul truck and loading it up and stacking it yourself, by all means, go ahead and do it. However, as a guy who's moved, hundreds of miles multiple times in his life i've really got to tell you hiring a mover is sometimes the best money spent number one this your stress level goes way down you're going to be really stressed with your move as it is however if you're trying to do this on your own not only going to have that stress you're going to have a sore back it's just a lot of stuff if your spouse is involved you guys are probably going to be arguing and stuff might get broken and things get all kinds of messed up so really look into the cost of a mover now here's the hack that i really want to share with you maybe you're like hey look you know what i want to do this myself i need to save money when getting here consider hiring movers to professionally pack up say a pod for you so that your stuff can get shipped out to Baltimore before you get here. And you're gonna have the basically security knowing that it was professionally packed and all the space was optimized for your move and used the correct way. So consider checking that out with a local moving company or you can look at movers here in Baltimore that will come to you and take care of all of this for you. So you packed up. Your stuff's here, but your home's not ready. What are you to do? In this tip, basically the best thing that we found for clients that run into the situation, it happens from time to time with new construction if things get delayed because of the weather. And that's understandable, right? Check out Airbnb. We love this site because most of the rentals that are on there offer a monthly option. In addition to that, they're fully furnished and the places feel like home. Those of you that have pets are going to find Airbnb is a lot easier to work with than going to say like an extended stay America hotel. Cost is going to be better and it's going to be a better experience for your pet. So if that situation did come up, check out Airbnb to save you a few dollars in cash and also get to experience your place where you're going to be living before your home is ready. All right, we've got two more left, but before we get to those, if you didn't hit the subscribe button in the beginning, please consider hitting the subscribe button now. The reason I'm saying that is if you're looking to make a move right here to Baltimore, we do videos all about living here, working here, moving here, commuting, going out to eat, and enjoying this amazing city. So again, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. All right, so this next one goes out to all of you parents out there especially those of you with school age children. I've got three little ones myself, and this is an important one. You've got to make sure that your daycare is lined up. Even if you're six months out, right now is the time to work on it because the best daycare providers have a long wait list. So you want to make sure that you get in and get your daycare locked in right away. Now, the best way that I've found to find a quality daycare provider that's going to meet your needs is to look in the local moms group on Facebook. Depending upon where you move here in the Baltimore area, there's moms groups out there that you can hop in and just say, hey, look, I'm moving here from Seattle, Washington, and I'm looking for a great daycare provider in the Catonsville area. Well, you'll be able to tap right in and get connected with a great provider that's gonna meet your needs. So consider doing that, and more importantly, get it locked in right away. Here we are at the final item. The final money saving item is this. It is a big one, but it's also the easiest one. And that is reaching out to us to help start your home search. You see, what we love to do is get on a Zoom call with you, hop on, get to know you, get you connected with our lender, learn about your needs, your lifestyle, what your kids are into, what you're into, what's a priority for you, where you're gonna be working. We wanna learn all of that because it's gonna help us guide you to looking at homes that are gonna fit your needs specifically. You see, a lot of agents will go out there and they'll show you 50 homes, waste your time, energy, and money. 
We ask a ton of questions because we want to get to know you and more importantly, save you time, energy, and money by really narrowing down that home search for you. Take Cody and Katrina, for example. They just moved here from Chicago. Cody's gonna be in grad school at the University of Maryland downtown. And within five houses, we were able to find them the home that they wanted. That, that's it, my friends. You know, we've got this process dialed in. So as I mentioned in the beginning, it just starts with you reaching out to us. Just give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or fan us down with the smoke signal. However you need to get a hold of us, we've got your back. We're moving right here to the Baltimore metro area. So look, a few other videos are popping up here and here. You gotta check those out because those videos are gonna give you even more information and help you learn all about Baltimore. Until the next time, I'll catch you later.